Hello everyone, my name is Somongri and I'd like to welcome you guys all back to more Injustice Gods Among Us. In this episode, we have the Batman versus Batman, Bruce Wayne versus Bruce Wayne. So if you're in Las Vegas right now, put down big money on Batman to win because I personally will guarantee that Batman is going to win this fight. Put the house on it, you will be a winner, you will be rich, you will be billionaire, you will be like Batman and you will be able to afford your own Alfred and don't lie out there. No, don't you dare lie out there We all know you've always wanted your own Alfred and we don't blame you Who wouldn't want a wrinkly old guy waking you up early in the morning when you don't want to get out of bed when you're exhausted from fighting crime at night Force feeding you prunes while he's giving you a sponge bath at the same time. He is multitask talented who would not want that and sure, it's easy to say, I don't want that. Of course it is. But is it easy to look into his big blue eyes and tell him that you're paying him so little, even though you're a billionaire, that he cannot even become a member of the AARP? Can you do that? Do you have a soul? Do you? Do you? All right. Lots of stuff to consider, clearly. I just wanted to get that out there. Old people, they're clearly the face of our future. So do not neglect them. Let them cross the street in front of you. And Alfred... He'd make a cool little fighter in this game, hitting people over the head with like serving trays and alarm clocks and all that good stuff. But right now, we're only stuck with Batman. And I'm kind of curious to see what happens after we beat Batman here, if it's going to go into its normal structure with chapters because there happens to be just an extra fight or if it's all on the fly from here on out. So let's take out Batman here and see what happens because we had a rather odd start. And I'm going to blame that on Alfred. I'm going to go ahead and blame it on him because I can. He's old. You can blame stuff on old people and get away with it. If we're done here, we're losing time. This is a mistake. You brought us here because you had faith. Faith, we'd uphold the values you've given everything to defend. So trust us. Trust yourself. And let's end this. You have no idea how to use it, do you? I was hoping you wouldn't figure that out. We need to get started. Innocent people are dying. We'll take the others, so you can focus on their Superman. We'll do it together. It'll prevent more casualties. Then Superman. Doomsday is going to be tricky. Collateral damage. I'll have to force that fight elsewhere. Anything else? I realize this isn't entirely accurate, but it's good to have you back. Adam. If Kondok exists here, I suggest you go home. Oh yeah, Superman versus cars. I hope the owners have insurance. So this part's pretty easy. Just gotta match up the buttons and then we zap them out with the laser eye. And I do have to say, it's good to have the old Superman back. The good guy who recycles cars. Thank you, Superman. You're weak, you know. Your world suffers for it. Alright, so it looks like more cars. He's just like picking them up from oncoming traffic. So wait a second. Superman's killing the people inside of it. So we didn't totally get back to the good Superman. Unless these cars are all going by themselves somehow. Which I'm going to say they are. So that Superman continues to be a good person and not killing innocent civilians at this time. Because that would make me sad and it'd be like, come on Superman, you can see, you got better vision than this. 
But Black Adam clearly is letting them out of their car before he's picking that up. So, Superman, keep up the good work. We are all truly blessed to have you here, Superman, saving us all from global warming by destroying all these cars that are clearly not hybrids. We thank you, the Polar Bears thank you, and we will elect you 2016 Superman There's Al no Gore. Alright, now that we have your vote, I guess it's time to really hammer it home with more cars to destroy here. I wonder if Black Adam's gonna have something more up his sleeve once we do battle, except for the cars that he's throwing, because if he doesn't, Superman is going to just absolutely crush him. So we're gonna find out here pretty shortly. It's gotta be almost done, and this is relatively easy. So here it comes. Superman modeled his government after mine. We allow no insurrection. Oh yeah, Superman versus Black Adam. And here we are finally at the game. And I did notice that his health bar was less for how successful we were during the car scene it looked like. So this should be a pretty easy fight here. And I'm excited to talk to you guys about the Man of Steel now that we have the true Superman here. The one that fights for justice. The one that will do anything to save others and not himself. The protector of the world. And Superman, very cool in this game. I played a little bit with him in multiplayer here and there. But I was hoping and praying that we were going to be able to play as him in this game and bring him in from the other side. And I was kind of confused about the Batman fight a little bit in the beginning, but now it makes sense. And Batman needs to trust Batman. He needs to li just relax a little bit, kick back, and allow Batman to do what Batman does. Because Batman had the good idea to bring in Superman, and now good Superman is going to have a chance to face off against evil Superman and hopefully straighten out this universe and bring him back to trusting superheroes again. And here we have Superman special knocking Black Adam out of the world. This should end him, and I cannot wait to fight steel on steel with Superman versus Superman. Your evil must end. That'll hold you long enough. So super, was he? Here's your chance to do what's right. I would take it. Superman to take on the might of Atlantis? Yes, we are. Not wanted here. Superman versus Aquaman. And I do have to say, I really like that Superman Sinestro fight where he tapped him on the shoulder and then took his ring. That was pretty awesome and it was clever. 
you gotta love Superman. He's always surprising. He's always witty. And for most of you guys that don't know a lot about Superman, I'm gonna shed a little bit of light on you, but not so much because I know most of you guys know all there is to know about Superman. He is the Man of Steel. He is the number one superhero in my opinion. He is like the one. He has it all. He can do everything. And that's pretty much why we are here in this other dimension because he could take over the world if he so chooses. And thankfully there is a different Superman from our dimension that is good and kept his honor. But Superman, you guys don't know, his name is Clark Kent. He works at the Daily Planet. He's a reporter. He is kind of like that nerdy other alter ego with the glasses and like the combed hair and he's really protective and really cautious. That is his alter ego. And I do not understand how people cannot see that Clark Kent is Superman. All he does is slick his hair back, which is the one thing that always kind of bothered me about Superman. As we knock out Aquaman out of this world. There's no water up there, Aquaman. You better go back home. And anyways, I thought that was kind of like a, kind of a weird disguise. But even if you did know that he was Clark Kent, what are you going to do about it? Unless you have a huge stash of kryptonite, that's your only chance against Superman anyways. And even then, he could probably fight through that to get you unless you have some superpowers yourself, which is the case in most of these situations. But kryptonite, it seems to be pretty rare these days, so I wouldn't count on that. And Superman, one of my favorites of all time, like I said before, I love what he does and I love what he stands for. I may not be wanted, but I'm clearly needed. Superman, we've broken their ranks. They're retreating. Good. Once they're pushed back, we'll need help with rescue and recovery. I'll break off a legion as quickly as possible. Thanks, Diana. You always make it look easy. Let's get through this first. Then tell me how easy it looked. We'll need to st Disappointed. Wait, we'll need to what? Superman never got to finish his sentence. Doomsday, you just rudely butt in like that? Come on, man. No respect, I tell you. And a couple more things about Superman before I talk about Doomsday just a little bit. Superman, he is from Krypton, and he also draws his power from our sun. That is what makes him the Man of Steel. His abilities include superhuman strength, speed, invulnerability, flight, superhuman intelligence, freezing breath, superhuman hearing, x-ray vision, laser eyes, and more. So I want to talk a little bit about Superman versus Doomsday, and it is said that Doomsday is the only one that can compete with Superman as far as brute strength goes, and in one instance, as he flies through the wall, going down, hey, Easy on those crystals, Doomsday. I just had those put in. They're a nice decoration here at my house. But anyways, what is that behind us? That is some crazy creature. And I'm going to take Doomsday out of this world. We are just knocking him around with ease this time. But it's not always been this easy. It is said that Superman and Doomsday have fought before in the past. And they beat each other to death. And that is not an understatement. I mean it. On the last punch, they both ended up killing each other. And that is why Superman and Doomsday make great rivals. And I do know that Superman was later brought back to life, but I'm not sure about Doomsday, so let me know about that in the comments if you know. Doomsday's not today. I 
knew they'd pull you over eventually. You don't belong here. My obligations don't end at the borders of my dimension. I am this world's savior. I protect it. That's what's happening out there? Protection? Disobedient children will be punished. Children? We're not gods. We don't decide who lives and who dies. The decision is mine! It became mine when Joker turned me into a weapon of mass destruction! I know what you lost. And you judge me? After I've killed you, I'll bring Lois here. When she sees how I've perfected this world, she'll, she'll be afraid and disgusted. She'll be alive! Lois's death doesn't just- He justify. stole her from me! You stole this planet's freedom! It's time to give it back. Superman versus Superman. And once again, put your bets in at Vegas, because I guarantee Superman's gonna win. But right now, we have the fate of both universes hanging on by a thread. If the evil Superman wins, he clearly takes over this Earth, this planet, and then goes to our universe and inflicts rule over there, or just destroys it. If the good Superman wins, our Superman, who I'm personally cheering for, we help out a different universe, and then we can return to our universe knowing that we will all be safe. So I'm cheering for me, cheer for me out there. I know you guys want to. So let's pummel this Superman. Right now, we are beating him down. He's more like the man of feathers right now for how we are taking it to him with these combos. No big deal, off the statue. Aw yeah, plus I got a better looking costume. Also real nice. But this isn't based on style or anything like that. Not finesse at all. I will fly a little bit. I will use my lasers and I will use my breath. And we will take you out and save the universe for all mankind. And I will be throwing you through the portal where you can join Doomsday and fight it out for the rest of your days. But I don't want to get too carried away looking at the future because you cannot look past Superman here. And as he takes me out, you know what? I'm going to offer you a special free plane ride. No big deal. Look, Mom, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, you just got your head bashed in by Superman. Aw, yeah. So up, up, and away we go. And once we do beat him, I am kind of curious to see what happens. I know we're not going to end up killing Superman. We're going to have to put him in some sort of prison. But I'm not sure exactly how that will work. If you would kill yourself in a different dimension, would you kill yourself in the other dimension too? Hmm, now that's a good question because that would mean other people are dead in our dimension, which wouldn't really make sense. So I'm going to have to go with no on that one. I saved this world. Now I'll save it from you. Oh yeah, we lost the wager, but it doesn't matter. It's time for you to stop terrorizing this universe. Say goodnight, Superman. Your reign is over. You won't terrorize these people any longer. Uh, fear is the only thing these people understand. One day, you'll learn.
Superman's accomplices have been rounded up or turned themselves in. The next job is restoring civil order. The transitional government has its hands full. We're here if they need help. Thanks, but no. The people need to know they're in control, not us. So you haven't changed your mind? I respect the President's offer, but I don't belong in government. None of us do. You think Batman has a future here? Crime and corruption will return. Ollie would have called me a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. And you're Superman? He'll stand trial. They all will. He was right, you know. About what? Put in the same position? I might have done the same thing. We never know what we're truly capable of. I hope for your world's sake you never find out. Just keep this in mind. Yeah? If something ever happens and you do lose it, I'm coming for you. <laughs> You'll have to get in line. So it looks like we have not seen the last of evil Superman, but for now, we are all safe. So my name is Somungri, and I want to thank you guys all for watching this playthrough. It has been an extremely fun one. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up for Superman. Subscribe for more Injustice. We're going to be playing some rival battles and also some online verses and whatever else we can think of. So like I said before, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on this playthrough in the comments below and look forward to more awesome video games from me. And now I will let you guys all watch the credits and I will bring to you anything that happens after them at the end as well. So have a great day, everyone.